Hey, you guys. Um, back again with another message from the Lord. God had dropped something in my spirit while I was strolling on social media. Um, and um, it's time for God's children to really pick a side. Um, whenever we say we give our life to God, whenever we say we, whenever we, say we give our life to Christ, um, some things about us has to change. And those those type of things include the company that we keep um how we dress how we eat um how we treat others um how we talk um the company that we keep those things have to change they might not all change at one time but eventually those things have to change because God does take us through processes. He takes us to, through different seasons and he takes us to the point to where when we are elevated before every elevation, there's a separation. Um, we can't call ourselves children of God and still want to hold on to things of the world. Even if you were, say for instance, you might have had a profession that um, you were doing that were of the world, but now that you're saved, um, God is calling you to come out of that profession, to start something different, to start something new. And you still want to hold on to something that's of the world. And this season, this hour, you're going to have to choose. Um, seriously, you're going to have to choose. Um, God dropped in my spirit. He said bad company corrupts good character. Um, so that's why a lot of uh, our circles and stuff have to change when it comes to friends, family members, um, because everybody can't stand the light and the favor that God has placed upon his children. Some people hate it, hate it, like have purity, hatred towards God's children. Um, and so God was saying bad company corrupts good character. Now, yes, sometimes when we do become saved, it inspire others to become saved. It inspire others to want to change their life and want to do the will of the Father. But when you know you have some people that are reprobates, when you know you are around people who don't want to change, who are set in their ways, it's time for you to be separated. Because bad company corrupts good character. Now you're going to be guilty due to association because you don't want to separate yourself. All right. Now your image is going to be tainted because you don't want to separate yourself. And God is saying it's time to separate ourselves in this season, in this hour. Like I said, the way we eat, drink, um, the way we dress, the company that we keep, um, the, the things that we do. Um, to get money and to make money and to get wealth, all those things must change in this season, in this hour, because everything we do as children of God should be to glorify God, right? And um, God also, like I said, dropped in my spirit, like it's time to be ye separated. But then also he dropped this scripture in my spirit. It, came, it comes from 1 Corinthians 13, verse 11. And I'm reading from the King James Version. And it says, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Well, whenever we become a born again Christian, whenever we um, decide that we want to give our lives to Christ, we have to put away childish things. We have to put away things of this world that no longer serve us. Okay? And um, we have to be separated, y'all, during this season, during this time bad company good character I'm and I'm just seeing so many people who said they dedicate their life to God but they still want to be around bad company they still want to be around people that cuss and use profanity they still want to be around people that don't want to change they still want to be around people that don't want to live for Christ and now it's making people question like are you really who you say you are are you really a woman of God are you really a man of God because at some point in your life you're going to have to be separated you can't be around the same people. And then whenever you get to the place where you're fully saved and you're fully submissive to God, you don't desire the same things no more. I talked about this before. You don't desire going out to the clubs. You don't desire the smoking. You don't desire the drinking. You don't desire entertaining the gospel. It's like a lot of things that you don't desire no more because God is taking you through a spiritual journey, through a spiritual detox. You don't desire those things no more. You don't desire to... Um, to lust and to live in sin and to fornicate and to just be outside of the will of the Father. You don't desire those things no more. So it's time for God's children to be separated. Like I said, bad company corrupts good character. And um, 
we just gonna have to really learn, you guys, in this season, in this hour. You're gonna have to pick and choose. You're gonna live completely for God, or you're gonna um, live completely out in the world. You can't be in the middle. You can't be lukewarm. And the Bible says, lukewarm, I will shoot you out. So, again, you guys, in this season, in this hour, you're gonna have to pick and choose a side. All right. You will be held accountable for your actions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In this season, in this hour. So you are going to have to pick and choose a side. All right. It's time out in this season to still be dipping and dabbling in the world. And you're calling yourself a believer. You are holding leadership positions. I mean, in the public eye. Or whether it's not in the public eye, but you're still holding leadership positions when it comes to ministry. And you want to be of this world. It's time out for that. So God is saying that you're going to have to pick a side. You're going to have to choose a side um, this season. Um, and I I even made a post about it because I'm just like, one day people want to be holy, the next day people want to be heathens. Like, pick a side already. Pick a side. Because Jesus is soon to come. Pick a side. All right? Choose who you, what master you're going to serve. It's time to choose. It's time to make a choice. Because I'm telling you, y'all, judgment is here. I pray that you make the right decision. I pray that you make the decision to truly live for God wholeheartedly. Because when this world goes through, God's children won't be going through. But you have to choose. You have to choose. It's no more of you trying to say you're saved and still hold on to the things of this world. That's not going to work in this season and this hour. Because God says his grace is sufficient. But his grace is surely about to run out for some people who just want to continue to try to live a double life that want to try to straddle the fence and don't want to live for God fully and completely. All right, you guys. So I love you guys. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will chat with you all later.